Here's to me having a headache all day. We're in for a big few days. Did I just maybe waste 50 quid? I'm not proud of this. Mm. Quite sad. <laughs> Run, quick. What does it look like? I've just made something hilarious for my vision board. Hello everybody, I have missed you so much. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new video. Happy New Year, Merry Christmas. I hope you've all had a really lovely time off. I'm gonna vlog this week, so we're not gonna catch up too much, but welcome to what felt like the only right video to post today. It is a brand new year. It started on a goddamn Monday, so you best believe I had to get myself in check, had to get myself ready. We decluttered and cleaned this flat. Every nook, every cranny has been like reorganized, has been put back together, like all the plastic bags, all the things hanging off the door. It's a lot. We took down my Christmas tree. In the first like eight, 10 minutes of this video, there is quite a lot of time lapses. So if that's not your thing, just carry on. Like at one point, there's no more. Like after that mark, there's no more time lapses. So if that's not your thing, you don't want to see me taking down the Christmas tree. Don't worry, this whole video is not time lapses. Thought I'd just say that. However you spent last night, I hope you had a nice one. In this video, I'm gonna talk about my goals as well. So hopefully this just makes you feel ready for the new year. You guys really enjoyed my last like declutter and clean. So I really hope you enjoy this video. Happy new year. I'm gonna stop rambling and let you enjoy the video. But one last thing, I am holding a new year's event this Sunday in Manchester. So if you're in the Manchester area or around, come and join us. It's an hour's spin class. Spin class is the only class left. There was a yoga class as well. An hour spin class, breath work class, some 2024 goal setting, mingling, chatting. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And if you use code new years, you can get one of the last 10 tickets for 15% off. And I'm so, so excited because the last event was so much fun. Up here always annoys me so much. There's always way too much stuff hanging up. So I've just taken down my big coats that are up there and we're gonna declutter and tackle this. <laughs> Why bother having bag storage if that's what I'm gonna do? <laughs> Right then, we just need to get started then, don't we? Realistically, we just need to get started. <sighs> We're in for a big few days. We're in for a big few days. Luckily, the flat is actually not a tip. Like my parents helped me leave it quite clean. The Christmas tree is down, as you've seen. I put new bedding on the bed, so that's ready to get into tonight, nice and fresh. Like, it's not a mess, but I just kind of have made it a mess by clearing out my fridge. And you guys know how much I try and pay attention to my food waste. I don't know what happened. 
I have not loads, but a little bit of food to throw away and I feel really guilty about it. So I just cleared my fridge because I was trying to make some breakfast. I just like have three protein mousses to throw away, which is so annoying because they normally have so long on them. And the ones I got the other week, I don't know, they must have only been there because there was only like a week left on them because normally they, they last like a good month or so. There is like washing hanging up. It's just like a little bit of a mess in here. So I'm thinking first things first, I'm gonna strip the sofa actually, put the blanket that's on the sofa and like the other blankets and stuff in the wash. So that's going. And then, and then the dishwasher is still like clean and full from when my family were here. Just like put stuff away, get a better idea of what's going on and then we can start. This video is gonna be fun. I've got like some decorations to put up. We kind of need to like patch up my kitchen. I need to buy some paint. We get to put like our cute crochet back on the sofa, take all of like the red and stuff down, which is fun and exciting. We're feeling fresh. Like that is the, I want to end this video like <sighs> new year. We're gonna clean my makeup brushes. We're gonna clean all of my tanning stuff. We're gonna do another wardrobe declutter. We're just going for it, you know? I love affair with Hollister now. Probably about two years. Like they're soft basics. I don't wanna be crazy no more. Every time I think you're gonna walk out of my door, I Christmas is over. To jump to the conclusion you don't love me. just logged a ticket on my accommodations buildings kind of app because look at what happened over Christmas. Brilliant. So that needs fixed before the new year. I also would love to get my rug cleaned, which is a bit extra, but it is absolutely vile to the point where like I almost want a new rug. So I'm gonna see how much like that might cost. I'm not spending, I mean, I say I'm not spending over like 30 quid on it. I know it's probably not gonna cost under 30 quid, but I'm gonna look and be optimistic. Serious declutter. We get so much absolute junk in our letter boxes. And the other day, when I was trying to find my Amazon parcel, I was like, do you know what? I'll take it all and we'll get rid of it all. Okay, guys, we are clear. We're not yet clean, but we're like tidy. We're clear, everything's away. This is what we're looking like over here. The crochet is back out. The Blanket is done being washed, but I'm putting it on a dry, so hopefully it goes nice and fluffy. The bin area is clean. I need to take them out. This is literally all Christmas wrapping. And yeah, the kitchen is clear. I need to find space in my freezer for this. We've done a little washing up. These are all just kind of hanging about because I think I'm just going to wash them all. Well, I don't know if they've been used or not because other people have been here. I don't know what people have used for what. I'm just going to pop them all in the wash. But this is what we're looking like. I am now really excited that it looks like clear and fresh. And it's only midday, so I think what I'm gonna do is take all the bins down, maybe finish the clean, hoover. I really wanna get to Asda. So my brother said he got my frame from Asda and I really want to, I'll show you these frames that I got, these prints, um, when I get all the frames and stuff properly, but they're like two kind of matching prints from Becky Bowden Paints, I found her on TikTok, I think she's absolutely wonderful. And I want them up here in pink, Frames. I don't know why A2 frames like don't exist. I can't even really find a white one. And I was like, Matt, can you link me the white one you got? I want it to be the same. He said he got it from Asda. There's an Asda up at Trafford. And I'm kind of like, do I go? Well, he said it was like eight pound and all the ones I can find are like 20 quid. So I'm kind of like, do I go all the way up there? Also do maybe a bit of a food shop and see if they've got the frame.
guys, I made the trip. And I think this is what we're after. I think it was worth the trip. A2 without mouth, perfect. This is the best part. And I'm excited because we're putting on a new blanket. Although we don't have any Christmas tree lights. We've got no lights to get cozy with. That was weirdly painless. Normally that takes so long. <laughs> the blanket is black. Oh, so fresh. Everything matches again. <laughs> Oh my god, I feel like I've just moved in. Welcome back to the vlog. So I am all showered and I've put on, I kind of bought these pajamas as like my New Year's pajamas. I feel like they're giving fresh. I also have a dressing gown that matches. They're from Tesco. If you get a chance to grab any of the Valori um, pajamas from Tesco, oh my god, this is my second pair. I went and bought another pair, like I love them that much. Although this pair, this pair is the exact same size, but it's not. Like I've got a 12 to 14. And the other ones, to be fair, are way too long. But these are like a bit short. These are like ankle swingers. And I'm five foot four. So that doesn't normally happen to me. I've just like had the most gorgeous dinner. I, for some reason, I've been craving mash. Nice and hearty, nice and healthy. And I've just like mindlessly eaten half a packet of sweets, which is fine because we're still in the Christmas limbo. But this is one of my goals for 2024 is to like not just sit and eat mindlessly to the point where I've just eaten a half packet of sweets. I don't even remember what they taste like. I can't remember <laughs> eating them. And I've just kind of like ate them for the sake of it. That is one of my goals to like be better at eating. I need to stop eating so many sweets, like me and my boyfriend. This is one of my 2024 goals. It's just to like eat better because I've got nothing wrong with having a treat, okay? Having a snack, having something that's like, yeah, sweet and chocolatey and treat-like. Not an issue with it. I've got to a place where I'll happily eat loads of it. So, I need to stop. I honestly have such sensitive tooth back here and I think it's because me and my boyfriend just eat sweets. Like my boyfriend is a sweet eater. Like he will buy candy kittens and fizzy fish. Like he's the ones that bought me the fizzy fish. He's a Sour Patch Kid cut kind of guy. Like he loves sugary coated sweets instead of like a chocolate. So we eat a lot of sweets. I see Tia a lot. We'll buy a little bag of chocolate from the co-op and it's happening weekly so i'm just eating a lot of rubbish and it's just one of my goals to, like stop and like eat more mindfully like if i'm having a treat sit and eat my treat and that got me thinking part of this video is i want to talk about my 2024 goals and i kind of do want to make a physical vision board but i've just spent a lot of money on i bought some paint to repaint the kitchen that's coming tomorrow the frames the spray the spray paint the command hooks to put it up with and all this stuff to go and buy a cork board and get all the photos printed in time for this video it's probably going to cost me a lot of money so i'm going to wait until january and i think i might buy a cork board and make a physical one but for now i thought we could update my it doesn't need a lot of updating because i only remade this vision board the other month actually i thought we could update my vision board and just like talk through some goals that I'm thinking about. And I guess like a bit of a reflection, but a lot of my reflection is gonna be on my podcast. If you don't know, I've got a little podcast. It's called Life's Your Bitch. And actually this is something I've just made for my vision board. Let me show you. It's really fantastic. Can <laughs> you see that? Oh, I'm gonna have to put it on the screen. I've just made something hilarious for my vision board. Here you go, it's not hilarious. It actually is a goal. I would love for this to happen one day. My podcast in Leicester Square, where everybody else's podcast goes. Um, I'd love to be on a billboard. Um, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna add that to my vision board as well as just like some other like more specific things. I think. Let's talk 2024 goals. A lot of my reflections are gonna be over on my podcast of this year. But my thing this year was that I just really wanted slowing down and like making sense of a lot of things and doing a lot of like thinking and just slowing down. I think getting to grips with like okay, post grad life. I was moving out. Like there was a lot of newness this year, and I think. Yeah, I left uni not knowing exactly like what I wanted. I couldn't really figure out what my content was at the beginning of this year. I had no idea. Whereas now I feel like I've kind of like slotted in. I feel like I've kind of found my space in the internet. And of course I've still got more work to do. And now that I kind of know I've got a lot of growing I want to do. And this year for me, like my focus was not really working hard or traveling or ticking off like huge big goals. This year was kind of more about like thinking, getting by and like making sense of things. And to spend a whole year doing that might seem really like extra and like you don't need that much time. But realistically, 
I'm, I'm still not done. Like things like that can take forever and it's okay to step back and take some time sometimes. I think that's what I've realized this year is that like, not every year, every day, every week, every month has to be extravagant. And it doesn't have to be extravagant for it to be good. Like I've had a great year. I've made some really, really good friends. My family is happy and healthy and we have made some incredible, incredible memories this year as a family, which I'm so blessed for because we don't even live anywhere near each other anymore. This year has just been such a year of like, I feel like mun not mundane because like me and my family's memories are great. They're like holidays and weddings and like these amazing things. But like, I feel like I've shown myself this year, like it really actually is about the little things and like the mundane things and the fact that like getting into running and like running two half marathons, which is huge, but like is the biggest thing I've done this year. Like the year before I spent like four months abroad. I graduated with a first, I moved out. Like it was all these things. I was like, wow, that's a good year. But I'm like, no, this year has been incredible. Oh, why? What's your 10 carousel posts gonna be? Oh, I've got no idea. I'm gonna do a lot of reflection over on my podcast, but I think today we're gonna talk goal setting. So what do I want my 2024 to look like? I definitely do have some goals. So let me read you some of my solid goals that I feel happy sharing. Okay, there's really quite a lot there. I've got quite a lot of fitness goals. This year I really want to I feel like this year I fell in love with fitness again and it really became part of my lifestyle and part of my routine. Like, it's not a chore anymore. I don't, obviously some days it's a chore. Like today I couldn't get myself out and this week it's been a little bit harder and all these things and not every day I spring out of bed running to the gym, but it's like, oh, I need to feel better. I'm gonna go on a run. Or like, I'm so excited to go into the gym and see how strong I am and finish that and feel so great about it. And I feel like this year, like I said, I've just been really getting in the groove and like making things work for me. And I've really found that in fitness. So this year, like, I just want to go in. Like, I want to feel so good. I want to feel full of energy. I want to be eating for fuel. I want to be getting like electrolytes in daily. I think I want to run four half marathons next year. Cause I think I want 2025 to be marathon year. So I'd love to run like four half marathons next year. I'd love to finish the year with like an 100K running year. Guys, I got a Garmin for Christmas. Woo, she's a Garmin girl, which I'm really excited about. I'd love to squat 100 kilos. I'd love to deadlift 100 kilos. I'm currently at 80 for both. So that's not too unrealistic. And I'd like to get my splits back. I wanna be, I just wanna be like an all round. I'm kind of carrying on my goal of last year, which was to like improve and be confident in, in a fight athletic abilities and I want to feel super confident in myself and in my body all around healthy bouncy energetic person is what we're going for here career goals is like certain milestones and certain platforms events every month and I would like to be earning x amount of money and then personal I really just want to like step into being who I um, I feel like again, my, I feel like for a while I haven't thought the impossible was possible and that is a trait that I have never had. I've always thought you can do absolutely anything. It's how I got where I am. So it's a shame that now that I'm here, I don't feel like it anymore. I feel like I've been here for too long. More time for what I love. I think I'd like to read, which isn't loads I'm aware, but like 12 books this month. I would like to make sure I'm reading at least a book a month. I want to be curious and I want to learn more and I want to read books on like, there's a book on feminism that I've been meaning to read for ages, like Women Through History. There's a book on like the economy and money that I want to read. And there's, I want to like, want to learn again by like taking myself out on solo dates and grabbing a coffee and just like reading. I want to be like, I don't know, journaling and like writing and being creative. I want to have time to do me and not procrastinate by sitting here watching YouTube and eating a half pack of sweets because evenings left me like I just want to feel really fulfilled and I think that obviously comes from a bit of trial and error but like I've put get creative friend dates once a week solo dates once a week I think I need to get outside more I feel like gone are the days I'm setting like goals goals and it's more just like how can I get closer to being the best version of me like the version of me that I dream about every day how are ways that I can like show up as her I think what I'm gonna do is kind of like write down all these things, like do a big Pinterest board, get a, like a visualization and an idea of what that looks like and then probably dive into it a bit deeper, like either tonight or over the next couple of days of like, okay, well, what, what do these habits look like? What is something that I'm doing? Morning, morning, morning. 
I'm feeling good. I have done my first lot of post-Christmas exercise and I'm feeling good. It's half 11, I've just got back from an easy 6K, which is actually the first run of another half marathon <laughs> training block. The rug guy is coming at 12. I'm actually very glad that I've managed to like, one, suss it out and like get him in the next day. One thing with me, if you can't do it within the next like two days, or if something I really, really, really need can't come within the next two days, I won't ever do it. I won't ever get around to it. I won't ever order it. I won't ever get it done. So the fact that they could come now, great. Because if they said next week, I would have been like, you know what? Don't worry about it. But they are cash only. So I'm going to go downstairs and get cash out really quick. And then we need to come back. I'm just going to like move the table, like move that. Just get everything kind of ready for him. I need to dry my hair and I need to eat breakfast myself. Okay, <laughs> I'm embarrassed. This is it. You can tell how bad it is. I'm just coming around the side where you get some natural light. You can tell how bad it is because where the table is. It's kind of like, it's not focusing properly. It's kind of like this part over here that's the worst. Um, but yeah, it's really not great. Did I just maybe waste 50 quid? Maybe. The guys were absolutely lovely and they have done a great job, but they were just like, it's not gonna go back. <laughs> obviously, to like, basically there's obviously the table in the middle and they were like, you're not gonna get back to that because that looks like it because nobody's ever stepped on it and it's like never been flattened. It's still like fluffy, which is what gives it the lightness. <laughs> they said it will go a shade lighter when it's dry, obviously like part of it looks like it because it's wet, but it really doesn't look too different. Bits of it do, but like as a whole, it's mainly, like I said, like this bit here because they've obviously like turned it all a bit. So like that was the muckiest bit that was over here and it just doesn't look any different. <laughs> so that's a bit annoying, but it does smell really good. They're gone now. So on today's to do list is to, I think we're going to clean, clean, paint the kitchen. Got our paints and we're going to spray the frames and I want to spray the frames first just so that they're done and then hopefully by the time we've cleaned the kitchen they're dry and we can either do a second layer or whatever it's going to need. I'm thinking I'm going to tape, I forgot to get some newspaper, but I'm thinking what could work is if we tape my leftover Christmas wrapping to the floor. Right, <laughs> let's do this. Okay, it's very pale pink. I actually like the colour to be fair. It's not being too intense. Okay, I'm gonna leave that for a second and we'll go in again for two. <laughs> it's gonna stink in here. It just smells so nice from the carpet and now it stinks of spray paint fumes and I'm about to open real paint. So here's to me having a headache all day. Woohoo! We are all patched up. It definitely took a few coats. Can you see there like where I've gone over? If I was doing it, I'll probably do another one there to be fair. If I was doing it properly, I really should have sanded it, but I've painted all of this part because it was a bit messy. I really have not used a lot that I have. Apparently got it absolutely everywhere, which is good. So this is done and let's, let's take a little wander over here. Should I touch it or should I not touch it? I don't know how long it's been. Let's touch the side. Okay, this is basically dry. Obsessed with the color. I don't think I need to do another one. Does it need, okay, yeah, like here inside needs another layer and like bits on top okay it's a bit later the frames are done i accidentally just fingerprinted one of them because there was a big blob on the side of it that clearly i hadn't sprayed very evenly but they look so good and they actually look so good in the pink i actually feel like it's kind of the perfect shade of pink it's not too much but it complements it this is them these are from becky bowden paints i don't know if i said that um i found her on tiktok i think she's absolutely wonderful like these are just the best this is called the slow mornings print so cute and this is like a birthday or like birthday cake or something got birthday cake got apparel isn't that so cute so 
These are gonna go up there. I'm still gonna wait a minute. I think Tia might be coming around later, so I might wait for Tia so that we can like like make sure they're in good position. I feel like I'm gonna need someone else to help me. The cover guy came by the way when I was going on my run, so that's good. Cause you know when it's awkward? I feel like it's awkward in a flat. Cause I can't like go to another room when someone's here. So that's good, I avoided one awkward <laughs> encounter. <laughs> Guys, I just took up the paper and um, we've got a problem. It's literally everywhere. So that's good. I'm hoping. It might scrub up. I feel like there, we'll see there. Yeah, okay, perfect. It's kind of like dusty, I think. I got the ISO clean from TikTok shop. Honestly, I'm gonna be honest, I think I've washed these brushes once since I've lived here. All of my tanning stuff just came fresh out the washing machine. That looks like it's literally never been used. These came out quite well. I'm, I'm not actually sure how you're meant to use it. Wet brush and swirl it on the carbon soap. Apply generously. Work. Gentle, gently work bristles into the scrubbing mat. Wow, okay, this is easy. I'm glad I ordered this. I also ordered the like spot cleaner one so that I can keep them clean <laughs> because honestly, I don't wash my brushes nearly enough. Wow. Oh my God, wow. Wow. Okay, that is seriously good. I think I'll be washing my brushes a lot more. So the vibe is we're either going like, see, so you automatically lifted it above. Okay, cool. What, did you, what were you gonna say? Law? No, I didn't realize it was gonna be that high. Wait, oh, where were you? When I'm saying above, I'm saying above the phone thing. Oh, well, you can't go below the phone thing. <laughs> no, but I didn't know they were gonna have to be close together to like. Oh, like, something like, are we going, do you mean are we going in or are we going out? No, I'm just I think I'm getting blinded. I can't you know? see us. I'm getting worse, I think. Yeah. My vision's always been great. I can't I even see us in the point. Will you zoom in? I feel like it's going to be the thing about like you just put one up and then you just have to match it. Okay. Can you see you? Uh, yeah. I feel like no, you I can't really get the vision though. Oh yeah, true. Because <laughs> you don't know where it is on the wall. There we go. No, what, what are we doing? Our problem is seeing. Let's bring the camera closer to us. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're actually dumb. Oh, We're that's actually so thick. <laughs> I'm so funny. But in my head though, I was like, I will be bigger though. Yeah, so we'll yeah, clearer. Was... But like, we'll just bring it closer. We're still going to be fine. Come on. Okay. So, how close together? I think that's perfect. I think that was great. She would have sick them there and called it. So then we go. So should we put a, a crystal where the... Oh gosh, that seems a bit mental. Oh, we're gonna like start scratching the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fuck. <laughs> I was like, okay, I guess you can do that. Um, <laughs> and how far away do we want them to sit? Yeah, I think you smashed it. I think I'm gonna need video. Come on, come look, come okay. observe your frame. Right. Absolutely, I think. Wow, um... Yeah, smashed it. That could be a job. <laughs> that's good that. that. Want to do it? What do we think? What do we think, guys? They look so lovely. Have they made much of a difference? I think they have. They're really bright and split. <laughs> I don't know why they, they feel like really small on the wall just, now. Like, you were going at full size a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for the declutter section. I've got a big stack of gym stuff. 
to put away. So I think we're gonna start with that. I've got friends on my laptop and then we're gonna go on to underwear once more and pajamas once more. If you've watched my declutter video, I only kind of recently did this about three months ago and I was ruthless. But I just feel like there's definitely some more we could do here. Like my pajama drawer never closes and I just feel like nobody needs that many pajamas. And recently I've got myself some nice sets. So I think I'm gonna throw away any like straggly pajamas that I have. Quite a few things I've pulled. She's so cute. We're being ruthless. I'm gonna try them all on and I'll let you know what we end up keeping and what we don't. Excuse the glow, we've got a ring light on and tan on. Just like that, it's New Year's Eve, and just like that, like I thought I would be, I'm quite sad. <laughs> oh do you know what this year has taught me? I'm not as much. Hear me out now, hear me to the end of this story. I'm not as much of a lone wolf as I thought or that I thought I was or that I thought was like better to be or cool to be. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not sure until the day comes that I probably live with a boy. I'm not sure I could ever live with people again. They'd have to be very specific people. Like I could probably live with the girls from uni again, but I don't have it in me to like learn to live with someone new. I love living by myself. I love my own company. I've got no problem spending time alone. And I'm not just saying that to be cool and trendy and to like be hyper independent. I do. I like being alone. I like my alone time. But in the general sense of the world, I think you would put me more in the introverted space. If you put me into a room of people I don't know, and anyone who's been to my events probably doesn't agree with this, but I feel like it's because what I'm about to say in a minute applies to my events. If you put me into a room with people I don't know, don't know me, I'm quiet and I'm shy. I remember my mum realised this once and she was like, you're actually quite shy. And I was like, yeah, spoiler alert, I'm actually quite shy. I think it was maybe, not to go therapy on you, I think it was maybe growing up quite loud and confident and then like through the grapevine, people are like, she's loud and annoying. And I was like, noted. I'll stay hush hush and just assume people don't want to talk to me unless I'm spoken to. But as soon as someone speaks to me or I'm in a room with people that I know, which feels like my events because I feel like you guys know me, you know my personality, I know you like me. So I feel permission to be myself there or with my friends, like in front of people I know, I'm definitely an extrovert. Like I'm an introvert in the general world and I'm an extrovert around the right people. Like I'm an extrovert around like my people, 100%. I'm always gonna be the loudest in the room. I'm always gonna be the one that will not shut up. I'm always gonna be the one that's gonna be talking, leading the games, screaming at people. Like that is me. And yeah, I think I just realized that as much as I love spending time by myself, I do love spending time with people that I love, which is I think is the difference. Like I'm not interested in being in a big group that I don't like being in just so I'm not alone, like absolutely not. But I feel like as well, I'm so blessed this year that I really ha kind of have found my pact and found some people that I really love and really click with. So I really love being around them, which is obviously only natural. Um, so I'm quite, I am, I am a bit sad now that I'm alone on New Year's and I did think I would feel like this. And obviously Tia, like I've got the offer to go out with Tia, but I do hate going out on New Year's, <laughs> can't lie. Part of me is like, it might be fun though with them. I can be back early still because I do still want to wake up feeling good, go to the gym, start my routine fresh. Like I'm really craving my routine now, like desperately. Um, and it's a Monday. I feel like if it was like a Sunday or a Saturday, I would go for it and then start my routine on Monday. But I really want to hit all of my gym sessions this week. That's definitely like my priority. Like I would like to feel accomplished tomorrow and have a nice day tomorrow. But I think I'm going to feel quite lonely tonight. Like I've got... I, I I get the worst case of FOMO anyway, never mind on a big night of the year, but I'm gonna try and like, I just like slugged out on the sofa for a minute and made like a little reel and like 
was just scrolling and I was like, do you know what? No, I know you're feeling rubbish, but stick to what you said you were gonna do. So this morning, I went on a 10K, which was the worst 10K I've ever been on, but anyway. Then I came back and I tanned. I've been marinating in this all day. And I think what I'm gonna do is go to Tia's like this, because they're going out at like half seven. So I think when I come back at half seven, I'm gonna have like an everything shower. I think I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna wash my hair. I might wash my hair tomorrow after the gym, we'll see. But I'm gonna like shower, shave, moisturize, get in my lovely freshly washed favorite pajamas. These are my Tesco, but oh, they smell unreal now. So yeah, I think I'm gonna come back then. I think I'm gonna make myself like a proper dinner. I think I'm gonna make myself like a little Greek platter, although I'm quite hungry now. So I kind of need a snack now, but I'm gonna make, I bought myself like tzatziki and tomatoes and hummus and feta and cucumber and pita and chicken. So I think I'm gonna make that when I come back, have a proper shower, put my pajamas on. I think I might find like a nice chick flick or like a film to watch and like really have an evening. Like make sure that like, okay, I'm feeling rubbish, but like, don't let your mood dictate what you do all of the time. And that is the end of the video. It is now New Year's Day and I'm about to kind of go and have like my New Year's Eve. I'm gonna go see Molly. We're gonna go on a walk. We're gonna make dinner. We're gonna do some like goal setting. You know when you write goals on a Prosecco bottle and then you can pop it when you achieve the goal. That's what we're gonna go do. I've just had my everything shower finally. I didn't have it last night. So the hair is washed. I've even popped on some makeup so that I felt better. The legs are shaved and moisturized, which they had not been in a long, long time. And I'm gonna put myself a Hollywood wax for tomorrow so that we're, you know, we're really, really fresh. Anyway, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video remember to book onto my event if you want to come on sunday i'm really excited to see you there it's like the biggest event yet so if you do want one of the last tickets like i said new year's will get you 15 percent off and i will see you next monday with a vlog of the first week of 2024 which i'm really excited about Mwah. love you so much i hope i haven't forgot to say anything happy new year no pressure to go full force okay i've got two podcast episodes on the new year if you want to go listen to them and hear more of my thoughts and reflections on 2023 and 2024 but anyway i'm gonna stop rambling I love you so much. Happy New Year. <laughs>